Today's video is a response to Carrie Fletcher's thoughts on gatherings. For the remainder of this video, I shall be addressing Carrie. Carrie, in your video, you make several good points um, based on your personal experience in gatherings, and I agree with most of them. There is one I feel I want to address, and that's actually the first thing you say in the video. Gatherings aren't like they used to be. You can't create a Facebook event inviting people to a field somewhere and only expect a hundred people to show up. The thing is, I've been to several YouTube gatherings last year that were just that, many of which had less than a hundred people show up. That's the point I'm mainly addressing, is that while gatherings as a whole are indeed changing, and especially the bigger gatherings have been making significant changes, I do feel that the smaller gatherings, for the most part, are still the same as they've always been. Except there's more of them now. The first YouTube gathering I ever attended was in 2011, and I found it purely by accident. I saw someone wearing a um, fourth doctor scarf, and as I got closer I noticed that he was wearing a Vlogbrothers t-shirt. And that person is now one of my closest and kindest friends. In fact, a lot of the people who were at that gathering are now some of my best friends. Having attended even more gatherings, I've made even more great friends through these gatherings. And that's what the gatherings have mean to me, specifically. It's a series of events where I get to see my friends and make new ones. These are my personal experiences, and I understand that the points you're making are based on your personal experiences and those of your friends. And for the most part, you've been to the bigger YouTube gatherings. My experiences, on the other hand, have very much been mostly small gatherings and the occasional large gathering. And so our experiences are very different, which is in fact the reason I'm making this video, so that I can explain my experiences and how gatherings appear to me. I do, however, um, think it's a shame that a lot of the larger YouTubers can't enjoy gatherings the way I do as much anymore. I mean, certainly a lot of them have their um, circle of friends that they hang around with in much the similar way that I would hang around with my YouTube friends. There is that sense that their gathering experience is always going to be different to my gathering experience. Unless somehow I wound up being a big YouTuber. But, well, that's not going to happen. So yeah, I've tried to think of a good way to fix this, but the best I could come up with was that a bigger YouTuber decided to attend a larger event and only told the person organising it and asked to keep it their attendance secret until they were there. But this, I feel, could only work short term. So, again, not much else I can add to that. While I'm here, I might as well talk about the um, Summer in the City tickets fiasco. I see both sides of this argument, and I can't really side with either. It makes perfect sense that the gathering organisers are doing this. They are trying to make money so that they can make the gathering experience better and to make it safer. All these reasons are good reasons, and I see no flaw in their logic here. That said, I completely understand the response as well and feel the people organising some in the city should be understanding as well. It isn't just that people don't want to pay or that they feel that they're paying too much already for transport to get there. There is that familiarity feeling. As you yourself say, they shouldn't pay for what they've already had for free. The experience should be different. And I feel the people organising somewhere in the city are trying to make that very thing a reality. But I do feel people are not going to realise that until the event has already happened. Maybe the best way is to change its name. Say that this is a new event from the people who brought you some in the city. But then again, maybe some people will say they miss some in the city. I don't know. Now, I don't really know what to think about this particular subject. I just figured I'd include how I think at the moment because you brought it up in the video. That's about all, really. Carrie, if you watch this, um, thanks. I hope you um, enjoyed what I had to say. And if you have anything to say, feel free to comment. See you around.